Hey, what's up guys? It's your boy Nino. Thanks for tuning in for another Wix tutorial by your guy Nino. So today what we're going to do is we're going to be talking about databases, okay? We're going to be talking about how do we import or export out of our actual live database, okay? So let's get started. So I want to learn how to import a database, okay? So what I'll do here is I'll add a new collection, okay? Then what I'll do here is I'll start creating, create from scratch, and I'm gonna give this a title stock, okay? Stock. This will be site content, so let's create that. Okay, so we have our first database open and what we're going to do here is import data from file. Then you want to choose the file. Choose any other file that is a CSV. Boom. So here what we have is that this is reading our Excel CSV file. Okay only CSV files can be imported into this configuration uh, to import any type of data. Now, since I want all of these columns to be imported, I'm just gonna keep them like that. Uh, what you can see here is that you can create a new field or you can create it from an existing field. So that means you can put all of this values right here into an existing field, which is title, or you can put it into a new field, which you'll create based upon the title or the, the, the row one column uh, header, okay? And so that in this, in this case, it is the date, all right? So we're gonna put this as a date and time. Uh, then we're going to switch this to months, day, and year, okay? Only one of those actually matches up. Um, so we'll have to do some adjusting once it gets put in there. Now, if you want to go to the next one, you can just click here to open, uh, to open, uh, column or field. And actually you want this to be a number. Yes. So it automatically detects that it's a number field. And then this is a number. This is a number. All the rest here are numbers because I'm getting this stock from Yahoo finance. Uh, so I suggest that all millennials and all, you know, millennials and others after, uh, get investing into stocks, whatever you can stocks, mutual funds, um, ETFs, bonds, whatever you can do, try to start early and ask anyone, uh, about stocks, ask, you know, your parents, ask them, your teachers, ask anybody that, uh, actually has knowledge of that because you can be starting right there uh, as a young age um, for all my young listeners out there. So uh, appreciate you guys, but definitely look into those stocks, ETFs, bonds, or mutual funds uh, at an early age. That way that you don't have to rely on social security all the time. All right, so here we go. Uh, we're gonna click next since all of my seven columns I want to import. So we'll click next. This is just giving you an overview of like what is getting transferred over and then what type it's transferring over as. So once we finish that, we can automatically click import. So we'll import all 256 rows. All right, so while we wait, I'll play some cool music. Okay, so my data is loaded in here, okay? Now, as you can see, there are some dates here that did not fall into the right format. Um, so you guys will have to go through here one by one, which this is a lot of data uh, to go through. So I'm not gonna do that right now in this tutorial, but this is the gist of it where you can actually get all of this data imported with the data field uh, names 
uh, right here, okay, into your actual sandbox database. Now, if you want to connect this to the live database, all you have to do is click here to sync, okay, and then you have these three options here. You can copy all items over to live. You can copy only the selected items, which you could actually do here in a minute, I will show you. Or you can replace all items from the live to the sandbox. For right now, I'm just gonna click cancel and I'm gonna show you guys how you could select these. So all you have to do is click on one and then hold down in order to select multiple, okay? Just like that. Once you have those selected multiple, you can actually go ahead and choose this uh, option right here that says copy selected items uh, from sandbox to live. Now I'm gonna click cancel here as well because I'm not trying to put any of this information to live. Now, if you wanna actually uh, pick different ones, not in the same uh, exact order, uh, what you can do is you can press control and then start clicking on the numbers here. And then you can go up here to sync and then you can copy all selected items to your live, uh, to, to your live database, okay? Now, I do want to say that, uh, if you if you want you can go here uh, to change the values to date and time uh, all you have to do is just click this here and it will do its best to actually put it to a date and time format but if not then everything is okay but as you can see it actually did a good job of recognizing what it was and actually put it in there so all you have to do is just click off of here and boom you have it so all you have to do is do this for I don't even know how many uh, data points I have here, but there's a lot. So you get the gist why I wasn't going to focus my energy on doing all of those just for you guys. But if you want, leave in the comments below uh, if you have any other questions about like the importing process. Now let's talk about the exporting process. So if we wanna export this data, we have to go up here to export, okay? Export data to file. Now these are exporting all data elements in the sandbox uh, data, data set, okay? If you go to live, you do not have that actual choice because this is not published. Now once it becomes published, you can actually go through uh, your, actual, um, your actual dashboard to get to your live database in order to export that live data set. Uh, but right now I'm just gonna show you the sandbox way. So all you have to do is click here, export data to file. Come over here. If you want to export this, all the data, then you can click here. If you want to export just filtered data, then you can click here, okay? If you want to collect all of the schema as well, uh, you just want to collect the schema. That means that uh, you're collecting all of these titles here so that if by chance you want to uh, import some some data into those elements uh, with the schema already there. You don't have to worry about anything because you already created it. So all you have to do is just download the schema and then you can actually place your data inside that schema for, uh, for you to import again, okay? Now, I'm just gonna export the schema just to show you guys what it looks like. So we export the schema, okay, then what we'll do is we'll open the Excel file. Cue the music. All right, so boom, here we go. We have our schema. So this is the schema of what our Wix database looks like. So we have our title, our ID, the owner um, ID, then you have the date created, updated date, and then you have your date and the rest of your uh, customized data fields, okay? And then it automatically names this the database name for both the title of the Excel file as well as the title of the worksheet is the same, okay? So that is about it. Um, if you guys have any questions, definitely leave it in the comments below. Um, definitely give this a shot. I, I think this is pretty cool. Um, if you, if you do want to know a little bit more about all of these other options here, 
uh, I will actually do that in the future, but just let me know in the comments below uh, if you want me to go over all of these other ones here. I actually have another uh, tutorial based upon Wix datasets and databases. So why don't you guys check that out? I'm gonna leave that in the right hand corner as I speak right now. So there you go. All right, and yeah, just have fun with it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, definitely give it a shot, like I said. And if you have any questions, drop it below. Thank you so much for watching. And if you like this video, hit that like button. All right, subscribe if you aren't already. And I'll see you in the next video. All right, ciao. Hey guys, so before you guys go, I just wanted to show you guys how you could actually access your database. And what you would do is you would go to this left hand corner and then you would uh, scroll all the way down till you see database, all right? You click database and then this is where all of your databases will be. Uh, as I do not have a collection here uh, because like I said, I didn't wanna publish that database. Uh, but if you see that you have a database published, which I showed you guys in my other tutorial, which I linked uh, up in the type, top right hand corner, which I'll do it again, but you'll have a gist of that uh, in that tutorial uh, about how the database looks, but this is where you can actually access that. So I just want to let you guys know about that uh, before I actually uh, go. So, yep, you guys, I'll see you in the next video and have a good one. Ciao.